I decided to make a YouTube video of uh, giving, um, let me try that again. I decided to do a little tribute to Tina Turner. Um, I saw this post on Facebook and shared it on my page. And um, I wanted to read it because I don't know how many people know the story. I knew part of the story, but I didn't know the full thing. So this is pretty intense um, and an incredible tribute to, to Tina Turner. And I'm just going to read it, and then I'm going to read you something else that I wrote on my page as well. Elizabeth St. Germain, I guess, is the one who, I don't know if she wrote this, but here's what it says, and you can read along. When Tina Turner left her first husband, who was also her boss, captor, and brutal tormentor, she snuck out of their Dallas hotel room with a single thought in her mind. The, the way out is through the door. From there, she fled across the midnight freeway, semi-trucks semi -trucks careening past her with 36 cents and a mobile gas card in her pocket. As soon as she decided to walk out that door, she owned nothing else. When she filed for divorce, she made an unusual request. She didn't want anything. Not the song rights, not the cars, not the houses, not the money. All she wanted was the stage name he gave her, Tina, and her married name, Turner. This was the, the name by which the world had come to know her, and keeping it was her only chance to salvage her career. Things could have, things could have gone, keep it right there, okay. Things could have gone a lot of ways from there. She could have labored in obscurity for decades, maybe making records on small labels to be prized by vinyl connoisseurs in Portland. She could have stayed in Vegas, where she first went to get her, to get her chops back up and worked as a nostalgia act. And, of course, given what she had been through, she might have not made it. What happened instead is that Tina Turner became the biggest global rock star of the 80s, I'm old enough to, re to barely remember this, but if you aren't, it was like this. The Rolling Stones would headline a stadium one day, and the next day it would be Tina Turner, a middle-aged black woman. She became a rock star at 42, sitting atop the 1980s like it was her throne. She managed this because of whatever rare stuff she was made of. This is a woman whose label gave her two weeks to record her solo debut, Private Dancer, which went five times platinum because she decided to speak publicly about her abusive marriage and forge her own identity, and in doing so, give hope and courage to countless women, and also because, in a perhaps unlikely twist for a girl from Nutbush, Tennessee, she had her practice of, and I don't know how to properly pronounce this, I'll just give it my best shot, Soka Gakkai, Gakkai Nichiren Buddhism, to which she credited her survival. She remained devout until the end. Tina's second marriage to her, her only marriage, was to Edwin Bach, a Swiss music executive 16 years her junior. Of him, she said, Erwin, who was a force, a force of nature in his own right, has never been the least bit intimidated by my career, my talents, or my fame. In 2016, after a barrage of health problems, Tina's kidneys began to fail. A Swiss citizen by then, she had started preparing for assisted suicide when her husband stepped in. According to Tina, he said he didn't want another woman or another life. He gave her one of his kidneys, buying her the remainder of her time on this earth and perhaps closing a cycle, which took her... From a man who inflicted injury upon her to a man willing to inflict injury upon himself to save her from harm. Born into a sharecropping family as Anna Mae Bullock in 1939, she died Tina Turner in a palatial Swiss estate, the queen of rock and roll, a storm of a performer with a, with a wildcat fierce voice a dancer of visceral, spine-tingling potency and ability, a beauty for the ages, a survivor of terrible abuse, and an advocate for others in similar situations, an author and actress, a devout Buddhist, a wife and mother, a human being of rare talent and perseverance, who through her transcendent brilliance became a legend.
That's some damn good writing right there. What I wrote is much simpler, but it's in response to the people I saw who were really getting upset about her death. And I just said this, don't be upset or depressed that Tina Turner died. Instead, celebrate. She was 83. She lived an incredible life. I wrote this after reading that, by the way, <laughs> just so you know. She started with basically nothing and became one of the most famous entertainers of all time. There's nothing to be upset or depressed about. I, I, I would amend that now. You can certainly be depressed that she died. It's sad when anybody dies. Okay, if you're going to get upset or depressed every time a superstar celebrity dies, you're in for a lot of heartbreak over the next 20 years or so, and 20 years after that, and 20 years after that. Instead, raise a glass to Tina. And celebrate an incredible life that rose through some of the toughest adversity anyone has ever had to face. And then this is a quote from John G. Bennett. It is impossible to achieve the aim without suffering. So I just wanted to make a video to honor her. I was never a big, big fan of hers, but I knew she was incredibly talented. I mean, I was a fan of hers, but it wasn't like I went and bought her albums. I don't own any of her albums or anything. But she was incredibly talented, and if you've never listened to her and never watched her performances, go on YouTube and watch some of her performances. She's incredible. She, she was absolutely incredible, and, and she absolutely deserved to be the queen of, I forget what her, I don't know if they called her the queen of soul. I forget that was, I think that belonged to somebody else. I'm getting my names mixed up. But she totally deserved every, every accolade that was thrown at her. She was an incredible force. And I, I love that she met a man who was the, the polar opposite of the man she started with. I thought that was really cool. And kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the right word to describe that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my tribute to Tina. You all take care.